Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the Windows features that have been removed or deprecated in 2023. In this list, you're going to see that there are some known features or some less known features, but of course, we're going to talk about this in this video. A huge shout out to Seno Panther on Twitter, who posted this list a few days ago. And of course, you're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below if you want to follow him. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this. One. And before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by WinX Video Converter. WinX Video Converter is one of the best software that you can use to convert videos or audios to more than a thousand formats. The compressing tool loses little to no quality on your videos, and the editing function has all the needed features to help you create an awesome video. Don't forget to check out WinX Video Converter today. Let's continue with the video. So first of all, on this list, we have UWP apps for ARM32, basically a UWP app is a universal Windows platform app, which is an app that will most likely run on different Windows 11 operating systems or platforms. And these apps are created so that the Windows ecosystem is pretty much compatible within its versions. But these apps for ARM32 are now deprecated inside Windows. Another feature that is slowly being removed from Windows is the MS Support Diagnostic Tool or the troubleshooting tools that we have on Windows in general. And of course, on Windows 11. You can find them in the old control panel if, and if you click on troubleshooting, the new settings app will be opened up. You have here all the troubleshooters. For example, right now, if you run a troubleshooter, you'll notice that the new get help app will be opened up. And basically, this is what Microsoft is replacing the old troubleshooters with and the new get help app is updated frequently with more support for certain troubleshooters. For example, interesting thing, if you run the program compatibility troubleshooter, this will still run on the old troubleshooter. But as you can see, we also get this message, troubleshooters have moved and this tool will be retired. And this is something that you need to note. Another very well known feature that was pretty much a fail for Microsoft is Cortana, which is getting deprecated as well. Basically, if you search for Cortana in Windows, you're going to notice the app here. And right now I'm on the memory list and I don't have the option to uninstall it, but on the latest builds from the Windows Insider program, you're going to see that you will now have the option to uninstall Cortana. And of course, this is because Microsoft is removing and deprecating Cortana from Windows altogether. And if you click on it, as you can see, Cortana and Windows as a standalone app is deprecated. It's pretty sad in my opinion, because this was a big part of the early days of Windows 10. But of course, the app wasn't really useful, didn't meet the expectations from users. And of course, Microsoft decided to deprecate it. But of course, instead of Cortana, Microsoft is working on the Windows Copilot AI Assistant, which could be a successful release in the main release if Microsoft, of course, improves it even further with lower response times of the AI and uh, of course, small little bugs that happen here and there. In Windows, also TLS or Transport Layer Security 1.0 and 1.1 is getting deprecated. This is basically a cryptographic protocol designed to provide communication security over a computer network and those versions of TLS are getting deprecated, of course, because they're pretty old. Also, all join is getting removed, which is an open source software framework that allows compatible devices and applications to find each other and um, basically connect to each other. This was mostly seen in Windows 10 and a lot of users asked on forums and stuff, basically what is all join router service that appeared in Windows services. And uh, basically this was a service for Microsoft that helped compatible devices to connect to each other. but right now, Microsoft has decided to deprecate this feature as well. And possibly the most popular feature at the end of the list, which is WordPad, Microsoft has decided to remove it and deprecate it, which is pretty sad in my opinion. But of course, it is pretty expected because in Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, WordPad didn't have its purpose. It's this standalone app, which had some settings from Office, but not a lot of settings with an interface a bit more complex than Notepad. But I think it's good that Microsoft is removing certain features that they are not currently working on. And uh, of course, they are planning to improve other apps in Windows 11, such as the Notepad app, which already has some of the features from WordPad. Of course, it doesn't have the picture or the insert object support, but who knows, maybe in the near future, Microsoft will also add that to the Notepad app. So basically, these are all the apps or features inside Windows that have been deprecated or removed in 2023. Let's rewind the list. UWP apps for ARM32, the MS support diagnostic tool or the old troubleshooters, Cortana and Windows, TLS 1.0 and 1.1, all join and also the word bad app. So basically, this was the video for today. Let me know below in the comments what you think about these features 
features being removed from Windows. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. This is Manny from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.